Hello Math Attacks here and welcome back to me channel. Today I'm going to show you a battle from the tier 9 German medium tank, the Leopard PTA. I'm going to show you a replay of this before it gets nerfed because it is getting nerfed in the next patch. And before we get into the action I'll show you my crew and equipment that I'm currently using on this tank. My crew on this tank, quite a good crew, all under the fourth skill. The equipment that I use in the special mobility slot, I've got vents, then a gun rammer and a vertical stabiliser. I also use the premium consumable food. So let's have a look at it in action. Today I'm playing on Prokhorovka. It's a standard battle and I've got the 510 matchmaking and I'm top tier today and I'm heading up the hill. As I said at the beginning of the video, this tank's getting nerfed. It's basically just its gun stats. Because at its current form, this tank is absolutely excellent at sniping. The gun stats are great. What's not changing is your gun. It is 105mm on this tank. It's got 278mm of penetration, which is fantastic. And it's got 420 alpha damage. With my crew and equipment, I've got an aim time of 1.66 seconds with a dispersion of 0.27, which is fantastic stats, them two. I've got a reload time of 8.35 seconds, which gives us a DPM of just over 3000. It's 3017 to be exact. And you do get 8 degrees of gun depression with this tank. Another thing that's great about this tank, about the gun on this tank, is your standard shells are APCR, so you get a shell velocity of 1480 meters per second, which is excellent if you're sniping. So you don't really have to give that much lead on your shells at moving targets. The nerf still isn't final as it's still on the super test server at the moment, but what it does look like they're doing is nerfing your aim time and nerfing your dispersion especially while you're on the move or rotating your turret but i still think this tank will be great even after the nerfs i think it's excellent how it is but the nerf isn't too bad for me personally that was a nice snapshot into the lorraine there and it looks like that was their best player so that's a good one to get out of the game I don't know if you've noticed, but the position I'm in at the moment has been changed. This is an older ray player. There's more of a valley here, which gives you more cover from the centre, and it's harder to fire at them in the centre. It does make it a little bit better use in this hill when you spawn from the north. So I've lit the 7032 up, trying to pull back. I knew I was lit, worried about the IS-32 shooting us. And he did get us in the side, but I have gotten some assistance on that 7032. So let's get back to this tank, talk about its strengths and weaknesses. Its strength, its top strength, is definitely the gun and the gun handling. So as we've said, the gun handling is getting nerfed a little bit. But another good thing about this tank is its mobility. You get a top speed going forward of 65 kilometers an hour. And a reverse speed of 20 kilometers an hour get back over them ridge lines another good thing about this tank is its ability to spot as you can see here there's an a75 snuck a shot into him set him on fire looks like he's got a manual fire extinguisher so i got a lot of damage in from that fire looks like 549 so as i was saying another good thing is its view range with my crew and equipment I haven't got no quartered optics or anything like that to increase my view range, but I have got it to 452 meters, which is great to over the 440, which is the maximum view range you can have. So I want to push back up this hill. These two tanks, these two heavy tanks on the top are one shotters. There's a 75 gone. Can I get the 7032? Just trying to get the shot. And got up straight in the top plate. So I'm pulling back now. And we've just lost our score to T50 there from the middle, that IS-32 again. 
So as you can see, I am playing very cautious in this tank, and that's because the downside to this tank is its armor. You could basically see it hasn't got any. What you do get on the hull, you get 70 millimeters on the front, 35 on the side, 25 on the rear. I wasn't expecting me WZ heavy tank on my team to push forward like that. And he's just died. If I knew he was pushing forward, I would have supported him. But I was down the hill. And now they're clicking on us. In the most recent patches, they have been upgrading the communication in the game. And it would have been nice if that WZ did tell us that he was pushing. And I would have supported him. He could have before the improvements to the communication. But he didn't bother. So I wasn't to know that he was pushing forward. And I've just typed up that I was down the hill when they made the push. When he made the push. So back to the armour. As I was saying. The hull armour. Rubbish. And the turret doesn't get any better. You do only have 52mm on the front. 60mm on the side. 60mm on the rear. So pretty much any tank that you'll meet in this tank. Even tier 7s. Shouldn't have a problem penetrating your armour. So you do have to snipe. Keep back. There's that Type 61. Did get a nice shot into him. And he's been taken out. So hopefully I've won the hill now. I'm just hiding myself behind this destroyed tank. As you've seen. One shot's bounced off it. And there's a second. So I'm just waiting until I'm not lit. And then I can make a move. Don't think there's any more tanks over here. So I'm going to peek through the bushes. See if I can spot anything sitting on the train lines at the back. Not sure if there is. So if you're playing this tank, I would recommend you keep all the enemies to a distance. You don't really want to be ploughing in in this because you're not going to bounce any shots. You haven't got a great deal of hit points, 1700. There's that IS-32 and a lovely shot into the back of him. So don't sit in the bush right at the back of the map, just camping all the game. You don't have to do that when you're playing a tank that's great at sniping. Just keep the enemy at a distance, be second line. Let your light tanks at the beginning of the game spot your targets. Or let the heavy tanks plough in using the armour and you can support them. And if you don't have anybody doing these roles for you, you can still spot for yourself, get some shots in, and you have got the mobility to reposition. So I've taken a position in this tree line, bush line, just hiding. I cannot spot. I'm using my circles, and I know that the enemy can't spot me. There's that IS-32, and I've taken him out. So there's nothing in the field. There was only him that could spot us, but everybody else is outside my view range, so I'm outside their view range. So I'm just going to reposition. I don't want to move forward over the enemy cap, enemy base, because it's open ground. Oh, I have been spotted. What I'm trying to do is go in the field, and it has got the ridge lines going across the map. What you can do is just head to the ridge, and as you can see, there's bush cover. So you can not just peek over. You do have 8 degrees of gun depression. I actually bounced a shot there. Which I'm amazed about. But I have spotted. Scored a T50. And a Stritzvan S1. Tried a blind shot into him. He's went out. So I'm keeping myself covered by these bushes. Just pulling back. I'm not sure if I'm still lit. Just pulling back a little bit. A little bit concerned about the T44 behind us. Hopefully my teammates take them out quick. There's plenty of them there. Now I'm just going to crest the ridge again. See if I can spot. What have I spotted? Oh ho. That's the end of him. Now I'm going to push down. Keeping low. So I'm in cover. The Stritzvan S1 has been taken out. Not sure who done that. I didn't notice it. So I don't have to worry about him. Now I'm going to use my camo rating. My view range and my mobility. To try and light all the rest of the enemy up. There's the Scorpion J. Snapshotted him out the game. I've spot the IS-22. He's camping at the back. So I'm getting assistance for that. And take him out.
Let's have a quick look at the stats. Was a Masters is Tank Reward. I got the high calibre for me 5,120 damage, so I hit with some blind shots. Also got the top gun for me 6 kills. Top of the tray for XP with a BSXP of 1,345. Top for damage. I made 100,000 credits, but that's due to winning the first battle of the deer. Plus 4,036 XP, that's due to an award for the first victory each deer, which was a times two. I'd like to thank you for watching today's battle, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, there's a little icon in the bottom right hand corner. And if you have any feedback, please could you leave it via the thumbs buttons in the comment section below. Cheers.